Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed, and we're back doing some Christmas preparation, I guess is the best way to describe it. We are going to make um, a basket. This is just one of a few that I'm putting together. Putting together some of the stuff that you guys have already seen me, like for instance, my little jars. This is kind of combining a lot of stuff. But I also want to put a little card in there that just says something. It says who it's from, and I'm going to talk more about my little jars here in a minute. It says who it's from on there, but I just wanted to put a little bit of something in there. Not big, just a little tiny something because it's not a very big basket. So I pulled out the cutest little stamp and it says happy holidays and it's a little reindeer. And I really wanted the reindeer to be brown. Um, I didn't want to have big bright colors. I couldn't find an exact matching red or green. And I was kind of tired of using black all the time. And I thought, well, reindeers are brown. Let's use brown. And the only brown I have is this one that's from uh, Prima. I love it, but it's got one little downfall. I stamp with it. So here I just am putting it on here. And it does that. And that just drives me crazy because I don't want this to be a smudged image. So the rescue. So just to kind of show you, this is the perfect crafting pouch from Scrap Perfect. And it is pretty darn awesome. If I, same ink, same stuff. I'm gonna take my little pouchy thing here. I'm just gonna put my hands in there and I'm gonna go pounce, 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 as much as you want, as little as you want. I'm just blowing to get the extra little dust off and it doesn't bleed. Pretty awesome stuff. So we are gonna create two cards now because this is again, something creative I'm doing in December. It's gonna be part of my December daily. So I'm going to create one little card that's going to go in the actual basket and I'm going to stamp a second one and there's going to be some other stuff I'm going to actually put into my December daily for today as well to put in my December daily. So don't forget because this is a part of my December daily. If you leave a comment on this video or any video that is part of my December daily, either the ones that are going up every Sunday or a video like this where it's, I'm creating something to go in there. It's a chance to win an amazing Zyron machine. It's one of three. This is the big grand prize here. But I have some other fun stuff. We're going to be playing with a couple of them today. So leave a comment. Chance to win. Pretty awesome stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp them. You're going to see how adorable this is. It's something super simple. A little personable. Well, personal. How do you say that? Personal. <laughs> so I'm just going to come in and stamp. Center this. Come in. Boom. And done. Look how cute that is. And I love, I'm going to stick it up here so you guys can see it. And now I'm going to come, actually, before I do too much, because I don't want to ruin it, I'm going to come in with my crafting pouch and just kind of going over it. It's not going to do anything to the pouch. It's got a little bit of a powder in it. You can see a little bit of powder. And that powder gets on there and it stops the ink from moving, which is fantastic. So you don't get big smear ball. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do the second one and ink that as well. And there we go. So now I have one for my December daily. I'm going to throw this little one away. And then I have one for my little pouch, my little container. I'm going to put this off to the side because we're going to get to using that in a second. I've been a super busy little bee this Christmas making a lot of homemade treats. I started off with creating, this is my shortbread. So funny story, when I was creating this container, and if you have not seen the video about how to create this, this is from a Pringles can. Link is up in the corner, so take a look at that. That's how I created both of these. It was a small Pringles can that we covered in paper. Super simple. One I've put cookies in, and one I've put chocolate-covered popcorn, the caramel covered. So it's caramel popcorn chocolatey coated. It's pretty awesome stuff. So it can be used for more than just cookies. You can put just about anything in these little guys. They're just containers for food because they're already food safe because there were chips in there to begin with. So when I was creating this funny story, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to cut this up so that way we can put it into and create labels with this. So I told you guys I was going to go make snickerdoodle cookies. They weren't homemade snickerdoodle cookies. My son is in band. And yeah, I'm free handing this because I'm being lazy. I don't feel like getting out my paper trimmer. And one of their fundraisers in band was to sell cookie dough. You know, they have the cookie dough. And he was very diligent in walking around and getting his... People were ordering from him, grandma ordered, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? And he wanted to make a certain quota. And so I bought a couple of things of cookie dough. I bought peanut butter chocolate chip, 
chocolate chip and snickerdoodle thinking I'm going to keep the snickerdoodle for Christmas and I'll cook them. They'll be beautiful. And I would use them specifically for stuff like this because I knew I was going to give away gifts. It was one less cookie that I had to make, but it was something different. I knew I was going to be making some other ones, but it was just one less. So I go in my fridge to go find my tub of snickerdoodle. Cannot find it anywhere. There's some of the peanut butter chocolate chip left. The cookie, the chocolate chip was long gone. Everybody ate that. That was gone like three months ago. It was crazy. Then about two weeks of getting that, my family annihilated. It makes like 60 cookies, but holy crap, they ate it so fast. Snickerdoodle, nowhere to be seen. I go ask my oldest son, who is 11, about to turn 12. Where's the snickerdoodle cookies? Oh, I ate all the dough. He ate an entire tub, 60 cookies worth of snickerdoodle cookie dough. <laughs> Holy moly, that is insane. That boy ate some cookies. <laughs> so needless to say, I'm scrambling pretty fast to try and come up with a way to create some more cookies because we had a cookie exchange happening. I had gifts. We were seeing a friend. I was purely planning on the fact that I didn't have to make cookies and he ate all the blinking dough. <laughs> ah, children. <laughs> so I scrambled real fast and we made shortbread cookies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On top of making cookies, I have also been busy making jam. So we have a blackberry bush and we have a fig, a couple of fig trees. So blackberries, they ripen back in May because we live in Texas and they're ready in May. So I've been picking them. We eat them as we want them, but then I also bag a whole bunch and I had enough to end up making, I think I made 18 little jars like this. So what I did is I created a sheet, which you just saw me cutting one up that says blackberry jam made with homegrown blackberries, lemons, and sugar. And well, pectin. I didn't put that in there. Merry Christmas from the Reed family. And I just did it in my word file, just like you see here. And then for that, I actually put in my, the big Xyron, you, you saw the picture of the light earlier, but the big Xyron, I ran the whole thing through and then I cut it up and my daughter helped me label all of the jars. This one got wet. Oops. <laughs> and we walked around the neighborhood and we passed them out because we had 16. We gave some to our next door neighbors. We just gave them a jar and that was our little Christmas present from us. Some we're going to put in baskets to give with bigger gifts to some uh, really close friends and for family and stuff like that. I also have a fig tree. Now we had snow. You guys saw that in my December daily the other day. So we dropped a freezing and figs do not like freezing weather. So I ran outside really quickly and I picked all the figs that were on the tree and there had to have been close to about 50 figs and they were about this big, but they're green. You can't eat them when they're green. And so I came up with the fig recipe that, oh, it's really good. And you put it over like cream cheese and eat it with a cracker. It's awesome stuff. Where you boil them down, you add a bunch of sugar, basically you're turning it into a really, really thick, like a paste jam. And I had all these, there's lemons in it. Uh, what else did I stick in there? I did uh, like a cinnamon stick. I put cloves. I made like a little sachet in cheesecloth of a bunch of like mulling spices, like whatever you would put into apple cider. I put that in there. I put a whole lemon and just like took the seeds out and just let it boil down for like an hour with all of it and then just buzzed it up with my food processor or my uh oh the thing that goes in there and then buzzes and puree or that's the word <laughs> so and then i jarred it and i was able to get i think five i think i was able to get five of these guys but i gave one away already so and i forgot to put the label on Shh, don't tell i told them in person so now I have my labels and as you can tell, my printer is being stupid. I think I have to replace my red. It's at the tail end. And I'm going to turn these into the simplest little labels. Now I did the worst cutting job while I was talking. So I'm just going to trim these up to make them shorter because I want to be able to fit it just like you saw right there, just like that. But I need to trim up a tiny bit because my cutting and my talking sucked. All right. So I'm going to do one with you. Now, if you wanted to, before I cut them into these little pieces like this, you could put the whole piece into, it wouldn't fit into here. Oh, it would just fit, but it would be pretty tight squeeze. I would put it into the Xyron light, the one that I'm giving away, and then I would cut it from there. Or if you don't have a big one, if you just have a little one like this, this would these would actually fit into the X as well. I can find my X. I think I have one buried in here. So these are the original Xyrons that people have. 
and one of these little guys would fit in here just fine too. So it's an easy way of making labels to go on to stuff. You don't have to make them super big. Actually, the smaller the better in some ways. I also did this on regular printer paper. I did not do this on thick cardstock because I want this to fit and wrap around my jar and not possibly pull off. If you want to go the extra mile and laminate it or something, you're more than welcome to do so. But I just, I, I, having to make cookies, I was not expecting to because my son ate all the snickerdoodle dough, set me back. <laughs> ah, yeah, we, we, I, I was a little fumey for a while on that one. When you're not expecting to have to make something <laughs> and you have a plan in your head, at least this is how I function, when you have a plan in your head and all of a sudden you go to go do it and it's gone. <laughs> oh, children, you gotta love them. Okay, <laughs> I decided to talk through all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this two by two. I'm gonna line this up in here. And I did the fig the exact same way, but I didn't need to fill up the entire page like you saw with the blackberry jam. So this is what the fig one looked like. I made columns, so for the blackberry jam, so it would print on one sheet, I made three columns in a Word file or whatever kind of document file that you use to print and write papers in. For the fig one, I just made two columns. So they're a little bit wider, but not by much. And then I'm just gonna run it through. When I get to about here, I stop and I put in the next one. Just like that. And then I pull that through. And keep careful when you're doing it, don't hold on to these things. You want to hold on just next to it because otherwise it won't roll. So I got, look, I jammed. You gotta make sure you set luck. I screwed that up. It's okay. It's a good thing I only need four of them because I only have four jars. <laughs> and just to show you, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. The X's work exactly the same way. You just slide it into the top. I love the little X. I think it's so cute because it's Zyron. Zyron starts an X. And, and the little print on this is adorable. You just pull it through. Super simple. Yank it out. Can't be any easier. So good thing I made one more. <laughs> Because otherwise, that would stuck. So then, all I do, I pop it off. I now have a sticker and try to not stick to itself. And I'm going to come in and just stick it. Simple as that, right? I'm going to go ahead and stick my other ones. All right, so now I got everything labeled. I probably, and I, this is something to think about, and maybe I'll just hand write it in here. I might put the year on here. That way, um, just in case there's a jar that gets stuck in the back of my pantry or something, because I'm going to give most away, but I, I'm going to keep one of each just in case. I'm going to put the date, I think, handwrite it on there. So that way, you know, when once you've pressure cooked them and you put them in the boiling water and they sealed and they, the top is popped in the whole thing, um, they do last a while, but they don't last forever. Now, what are we going to do now that we have all these beautiful things? Oh, and also I'm going to, since I decided to screw up my fig jam and I need to reprint off a Blackberry, I'm going to print off a Blackberry and a fig jam label to put in my book because it's something I made this year. I've never made the fig jams. So that's kind of fun. Something different. This is my second, third year making Blackberry jam from our Blackberry bushes. I found this cute little basket. Look at this. This came from a Dollar Tree. You try and go now, this is like a week before Christmas, and try and find these baskets, they're gone. So you got to think ahead. It's almost, you have to think about three months ahead. I believe I bought this basket about five weeks ago. Um, I also bought the, the strandy stuff that you see here, but that stuff was not in the same location. Really fast, this is where the pouch is going to come in handy. Do you see the static cling that's kind of happening? It's sticking to me. It's not wanting to come off. I'm going to dust my hands with the powder to stop the static heat and it doesn't stick. See, it just comes right off. So that was where I was saying, don't forget to leave your pouch out because the static cling is awful on this stuff. And every now and then, because I don't have enough powder, like see, it's still kind of doing it. Woo! I just got to repowder. I didn't do the back of my hands. Really powder myself up. Okay stick all this in here. So back to where this stuff was, this wasn't with the Christmas supplies, either of these. These were with the party supplies where all the gift wrapping and stuff is. All right, I'm going to dump all this in. And 
both those bags, this is the third basket I've made now, and I'm overfilling it because it's the last basket I need to make. Um, but it's, it goes for a while. It lasts a lot and you wouldn't need to, I like the, sorry, you wouldn't need to fill it as much as I'm doing at this moment. And see how it's not sticking to my hands anymore? I love that. It was so statically cling. I kept trying to pull it off of me and it would be sticking and it'd be sticking. It's driving me crazy. So I'm loving my little pouch just to keep my hands from it sticking on me. So it's great. And I think this basket is so cute because it looks like a little elf, like a tummy with a belt. It was adorable. There was another version of this basket that was similar colors, but not identical. Here's another one. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? I love that one. I'm trying to decide. No, I'm going to give this one away right now but they're so cute and they're a dollar because it's Dollar Tree. Okay. I also have some ornaments I picked up. These are ones that I have. I'm one of those shoppers that I will go after the Christmas. So these are ones that I've been, I've hung on to since last year and I found some sweet ones that I think are so adorable, but they're on super, super sale because when Christmas is over, people kind of don't care about Christmas anymore. <laughs> So you can find things on a really great deal. And I just think it kind of adds to the fun. So it's a little mix of homemade goodies, my cookies. Oh, and in the bottom were the chocolate chip uh, peanut butter. <laughs> and then on top are the, the other kinds. So I'll put those in there. Sharp bread, that's the word. A little fig jam. And then a little blackberry jam. Just like that. And then just kind of nestled little ornaments in there. And then now we have my little tag. I'm just gonna pop in there just to kind of pop and then that's it. Super hard. And I completely did not center that because the belt buckles right here. So I'm going to shift real fast. <laughs> I think I'm going to rearrange this guy. So it's right here. There we go. Just a little tag. Now I could on the back and I might just because it looks kind of plain and they're going to pull the tag out and go, why didn't she write anything? And now it's just a little personalized tag that goes in there. Super simple. Just kind of tuck it in something that people can see. And now each thing, both, the ornaments, the jams, all of it, I'm going to angle these a bit more, there we go, are all homemade something, it's resting in, they can reuse the basket, if they want to throw the pieces away, the Pringles cans, doesn't hurt my feelings, it was a Pringles can, the ornaments are for the tree, the reason for the boy and the girl is they have a boy and a girl, and there's actually four people in the family, hence the four ornaments, so everybody gets an ornament, they can fight over who gets what, mom and dad can pick the gingerbread man, somebody can be the Santa, and somebody can have the candy cane, they don't have young kids, so I'm not worried about if anything is going to crumble or whatnot, so Easy little gift basket. It does not take partly homemade. Oh, sorry. Easy little gift basket, partly homemade, partly bought, a little bit of love. I love using things from my garden. I'm a huge gardener. I got all kinds of fun stuff growing, hence the figs and the blackberries, but I got a ton of other stuff too. So if you see some gardening videos popping up every now and then, it's probably why, because <laughs> that's the other side of me. So thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my fun, Christmas baskets, including homemade goodies. Super simple, cannot be easier. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment to, for your chance to win and to leave a comment on all the other videos in the playlist that has to do with my December daily. So I'm going to pop this guy in my December daily along with, I'm going to reprint off my two labels because they're going to go in my little pocket. And this, I believe is going to go on the front of my little pocket in my December daily. Thanks so much. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.